sure nobody would mind if I have Oh my god! Oh, oh my Hey there everybody, this is Christopher Redfield here from Paradomics and welcome back to Octavia and the Underworld Shallow Vinyl side of the story. So yeah, the Hero of Time has uh, posted uh, another demo for the game, but this time it's on vinyl side of the story, like what she's doing, what has she been doing, why is she here? So wait, we already know why she's here. So you're probably wondering why I'm not in a title screen. Apparently there's no title screen for this game. And if you want to get the game, the, the, it'll be there in the description below. So yeah, I'm really excited to see what vinyl do. So apparently there was a dialogue, but I couldn't pause it because if I pause it, and it played by itself, so sorry. So let's start talking to this mare. Yo, what's eating ya? If you've been paying attention to what's going on, you know what's going to eat us, eat all of us. Oh, jeez. What brings up a rather important question? Hollande, Hollandaise or Warfighter? Oh, uh, what? Oh, you poor thing. Your culinary plate is probably empty as my stomach. What? Me too. Good face. As a gourmet, it's my duty, may my sole purpose in life. Like, oh, come on! Who am I to deny? Even the undead, a sample of the world flavors has to offer. Hmm. Wait, are you deciding to marinate yourself with? Correct. If I'm going to die, I die. I'll die bastard with apple in my mouth. Have you gone completely psycho? Why the hey are you planning to become some pony's entry? Yeah, you weirdo. We're going to die. We're going to die horrifically and brutally by those monsters. I'm only preparing to for the inevitable. I see no way out. Do you? We're all going to die. Alone, afraid, and filled with regret. You, uh, you want to talk it out? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> she just wants to talk to somebody. I'll talk to you later. Who are you? I'm a pretty big deal in Ponyville when it comes to blasting music that can be fabric of reality, but if you haven't heard of me, my name's Vinyl Scratch. What's yours? Oh, now it won't click myself. Ha! I too will stroke my ego. I'm Hot Cassine. If there is a popular dish you're fond of, chances are that I started its first I published its tasteful article and its Philadelphia of Acre restaurants I visited its food and its decor. What does what does scenario have to do with it? Pleasant A digestions. Besides, I'd like to feast my eyes on the splendor of the interior design of many different eateries across Equestria. I, I'd like to give her own her own voice. Could have fooled me. You look like the type to travel. Was that a crack at my weight? I'm not fat, I'm just well fed. She doesn't even look that fat. Anyways, yes, I love to travel, new locations, provide new food with new experiences. In fact, the reason I was in Ponyville was because I wanted to visit a famed chef who was in Ponyville nearly a decade ago. Okay. I never got the chance to see his culinary skills first hoof. And possibly I will never will, since he will declare missing when I ask for his whereabouts. Oh well, as hard as I try, I can't taste it all. Besides, I have a bigger things to worry about. Weird. I love to live in Ponyville practi practically all my life. Oh, I live in Ponyville. I didn't know the other chefs besides Mr. and Mrs. K. Who are they? I don't know them. I mean, I struggle to remember every face in the t in town. That th that isn't regular at dance club, but fancy schmancy chef living in Ponyville will kind of stick out. Maybe Tavy knows. I'll ask her later. What's your favorite food? Why are you wearing a bee suit? Yeah, why are you wearing a bee suit? What's the story behind a monk's useless bee suit? Ah, so if you noticed, I like to cook low calorie desserts and spend my time in honey making for excellent pure sugar substitute. Well, I don't like honey that much. But the price of honey in Ponyville can be quite high since I don't know how to barter well with aggressive sellers in market. I used this, I used to set prices in grocery stores you see anyways imagine my surprise when two fellow came up to me and offered to sell me their spare beekeeping suit what were their names slim jim and flan no what's it? flim and flan flim and flan oh hey no don't tell me you actually bought from those crooks 
At a discount price and desperate taste for honey, how could I say no? Even though I should have suspected <laughs> this thing was... Oh, they said half off. <laughs> so they only gave her like half the clothes. When I realized I was scammed, they got into their cart and dashed off, shouting that their sales were final. Oh, bunch of dicks then. And it led me to why I'm here in the first place. I didn't purchase and decided to take a gamble and head off the woods to find Hive. You found it and it was at the backyard. I knocked at the door and the door opened. However, there was no pony inside to greet me. I made my way to the back and took a good look and horrific there was a hive inside the pony skulls. Yes! Apparently. I saw that too. I was so afraid that I made a mad dash at the door only to find it was locked. Half an hour ago and hunger started to kick in. I checked the fridge and looked and smelled like there was started to turn. I didn't want to risk getting sick so I took my chances at the skull hive and I gathered the rocks in the yard and made a small fire pit and oh that's why there was a fire pit there. I got in too close but it felt threatened enough to sick me its bees on me. You see the damage I've received in exchange for a jar of honey? Thank goodness I'm not allergic like Octavia. Octavia isn't so lucky. Hopefully she doesn't do anything I'd probably do. Anyways, I fell into the trap you fell in. I was escaping from the bees. I've been trapped here ever since. It's probably almost a day since I've arrived. I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Alright, I suppose I'll just imagine what a delightful meal I could be having. If I'm eating air, don't panic. I'm only experiencing starvation induced <laughs> hallucination. Okay. Oh, what's that? Ow. 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 Hey! <laughs> oh, forget it. Fixing these glasses is a lost cause. Oh, she was trying to fix it. Wait, let's see this. Some pony owes me a new pair of shades. Oh, her shades broke. Sucks to be her, West. What's this? Oh, this is where you can talk to Octavia. I hope Octavia's doing right up there. This whole situation's beyond whack. Whack, yo. Hmm. Okay. South. What's this? Ugh. Dang, it won't budge an inch. Guess I gotta come up with a plan or wait until Octavia comes to bust me out, whichever comes first. Oh, it's raining. Good. It just matches the scenario in this place. Well, not the music. Down east. Oh, who are you? Hey, how's it hanging? Is there a reason that you are talking to me? No, I was just being friendly. If you have no business with me, then this conversation is over before it even started. Jeez, antisocial much? Fine, be a jerk. What was that? What was what? Your leg just turned black for a second. You're just imagining things. My eyes are working just fine, buddy. What are you trying to hide? What business of yours, you annoying little gnat? Or gnat? You should be more worried about the monsters outside of the room than me. Yeah, well, who's to say you aren't working for her? With her, I say so. I'm trying to save my own exoskeleton. Exoskeleton? What are you, a robot? Yeah, well, wait. Wait, what? Exoskeleton? You aren't a pony. What are you exact, really? Come on, share your story. I won't judge. You don't sound like you're on the level. If it gets off my back any faster, then fine. You, you'll never whisper these words, understand? Okay. Take a chill pill, right back. What, what, er, what are you? What's your deal? Why are you getting all defensive? Oh, I saw that. First of all, address me as my current alias, Muscle Milk. You don't look so buff. Secondary, the reason why I'm so defensive is because I don't want to cause more panic among us prisoners. I'm sure it's bad enough that you ponies are terrified of zombies. They would fear only heightened to know the cha changeling is among them. No way, you're a... Shh. I thought I told you to keep it down. Uh-uh, muscles. I'm not gonna play dumb so you can munch in, the, munch in our good fields. Listen to me. I'm not planning to hurt any pony. At the very least, lis listen to how I've lived before I cast judgment. I assure you this is not the way to tr threat me. Look... Look at me, I'm practically fading away. All right, I'll give you another chance. Another? But try and I promise your jaw will be introduced to the floor. So how long have you been pretending to be a pony? Let's see, where to begin? Four years, ah, oh, my culinary. I had a different opinion with the queen's leadership of late. I suggested that our majesty has been too aggressive with conquest and harsh on our units. She keeps slaughtering soldiers that don't live up to her expectations. People can die? Like ponies can die? I don't know if they can die. Trying to conquer cities, Arabia, the base, the rest of the colony. Gee, I didn't know you cared. Your tone of sarcasm does not fall in deaf ears. 
You should know that changelings lack positive emotions of our own moral decisions. I is just suggesting that it would be best for our race that all other creatures would still be food. Naturally, the queen saw, saw my views as insubordination and sentenced me to death. I narrowly escaped with my life and hid at a broken down apartment in Trottingham, wherever that is. Wait, Trottingham, I think I heard that from another game. Eyes of away from a blah blah blah. The ponies granted me shelter and his house held was foolish and naive to aid a changeling. Yet he was determined to show his kindness and face off a creature such as myself. When the heat was off me, I decided to help him. His milk delivery job provided him with extra bits. It's not because of grateful and loyalty, it's because I hate to owe favors. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You're an, you're an edgelord among the race of like mine. Like minded Ben can smile without kicking puppies. Believe me, I too thought that the only source of happiness changed in can get was talking it out with others who were showing love. That's why. That's why I was confused when he passed away. He caught a cold during one of our milk runs and came home with a terrible cough. Over time, the symptoms worsened and he's suffering a severe case of pneumonia. Because he was poor, he could not afford the treatment to recover his illness. In the last moments, I distilled in anger, sadness, a changeling can feel negative emotions more. What I did not expect was to feel regret. Regret that I couldn't do more for a friend. When he died, I gave him a proper burial where no, where no one would see us, and I took his form and named name to continue his life as if nothing ever happened. Huh? But why would you do that? You'd be living a lie. Shouldn't his family know? As far as I know, he didn't speak of his family. I couldn't inform his loved ones of his passing. The main reason, the main reason why I took his lifestyle was trying to really create that friendship that other pony and I, that I did with him. I need ponies, any pony to touch my heart the same way he did to me. No matter how many fake smiles and false promises and acts of mimicry I performed, I was unable to get the same reaction. Something was missing. I don't know what. I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. I, uh, oh, uh, oh, jeez. I uh, kind of feel like a jerk treating you like a bad guy after that. Final. If the horseshoe was on the other hoof, I would have probably said the same things. Okay, take a chill pill. I'll be right back. Remember, do not tell a soul about this. Guys, he's a changeling. Get him. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, who's this loser? Hey, wanna talk? Guess not. Okay. Be a loser then, mister. What's that? This guy's a negative vibe sponge, though I'd be down if I was hungry as he is. Oh, he's hungry. Should give him food. Some sort of room smells like rancid, like skunk baked septic tank. Wait, bad smell? Hole in the floor? Foldable cover? You mean I gotta poop here? Oh, hey, you know. <laughs> I mean, I got. I know I'm wild. Oh, damn it. I just have to hold until Octavia saves me. Ew. That, that's the bathroom. Let's talk to that vampire girl, wherever she is. Here she is. Yo, what's up? Hmm. Either she's not in a mood to talk, or she's just straight up ignoring me. Maybe there's a way I can get her attention. Something she likes. Hey, you want to talk about, um... Changelings? Not gonna answer me, huh? Okay, I'll make you notice me sooner or later. You know what? That I'm annoying is just because another word for persistent. Yo, what's up? Okay, I'll try to get her. I think she wants bats. Let's talk about bats. Bats? Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Hmm. Oh, maybe she knows something about her. No. Okay. Damn it. Wait, wait, wait. Let me go investigate her. Her face splattered to look practically eating pepper. I should snap her back to the real world. Ah. Uh, yeah, let's let's try something. Uh Vampires. Okay. Word for persistence. Oh, what's here? Slide down there. Oh, okay. 
Wait. Fish, uh... What does she want? Is that all? Oh, look. Whoa, these cupcakes look like they're enough to fill sugar for hyper days. I'm sure nobody would mind if I have... Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Don't eat the cupcakes! What the hell, man? Personal space! Personal space! I'm just warning you, that stuff is toxic. She put something in the food to make your body and brain sluggish. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with you, you asshole? It's easier for her zombie minions to catch and devour you. Some pony ate it before he was taken away and didn't come back alive. Jeez, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I get it now. You're starving yourself because you don't want to eat. Yeah. No, it's because I'm diabetic and food will kill me a lot faster than the zombies ever will. But that's besides the point. I'm sorry I've been ignoring you. I've been trying to think of ways that I can help your friends above. Ask me anything. You asshole! Why are you an asshole? Let's start with that question. Alright, start. Who are you and what's your deal? I'm Puzzle Piece. Oh! Oh! So I'm guessing that in Octavia's side, we go to Vinyl and then we ask this guy for puzzles to solve a puzzle after Vinyl tells him and then Vinyl can send it back to Octavia. Oh, that's smart. That's really cool. Okay, I've been ignoring. I don't really care. Uh, there's been disappearance of happenings across the Hundreds of ponies vanished and the royal guards were stumped then. And that's why they decided to enlist help from me to figure it all out. That I was fun to do something that's unrelated. That's unusually jigsaw and sudoku puzzles. I agree. I traveled around to find clues. The disappearance of family and pony van member and missing it out there. Man was sent her note. Find the notes address, I found my way here. And did you find the missing ponies? What do you think? Of course I did! Have you gotten a glimpse of what's around us? No. They're down here with us, dead but alive. But the scrape of the walls grave with flesh that I had no idea that this would be the fate of those missing ponies. Now every day has become a fight for my survival for me. It's long enough alert this outside of pony and died to become one of them. But I don't think I'm going to last any longer. And is the thing for ah I won't survive to tell the tale. Whoa, what a major bummer. <laughs> he says all that and she just said, Wow, what a major bummer. About the house. About the prisoners? Uh don't worry, we'll get out of here. I know of it. I barely holding on. I hope so soon. You got him in above? What you need? Ah, uh, okay. I thought we couldn't talk to him anymore. What's that? Nope, still not gonna- I want puzzle piece to do this as as Apple told me again. Yeah, same here, my friend, same here. All right, let's talk to him. Let's see what more about him, about the house. So how did the house get spooky in the first place? I don't know how for sure, but I figure out that the necromancer did get some magic that was not meant for mortal hooves. Unlike the rest of the ponies here, I don't initially fall for the, fall in the trap. I explored the house in defense and found that she was practicing zebra magic. Zebra magic, like Zikora's potion? Zikora, who? Zikora is a zebra witch doctor that lives in the Everfree Forest. You mean to tell me that there's a zebra living here? Then that's where she got all of those scrolls from. How can Zikora be so careless to have such dangerous spells laying around somewhere? Does she know the horrors and leads to the negligence? The pop buddy, she's not stupid. Probably a mare broke her hut. And I don't know. Busted busted a lock, a chest, or something get in. <clears throat> well, regardless, your friend should be full should Take full advantage that a cauldron in a room that a tailor was a potion making that used zombie blood to write the no, course for several magic and came after me. I suggest that she takes the time to find the scrolls and scrolls that I hid away from the Oh, so he's been hiding the scrolls. That's why there was like one under the bed. Oh, so why didn't you use the cauldron yourself to create a super potion to take out the big bad zombie maker? I wasn't risking enough. I wasn't risking enough to try a hoops with the potion making. It had bad juju written all over it. Yeah, because if you fail the magic potion thing, it will backfire at you and kill you. About Octavia? So do you know about my pal Octavia? She'll be alright up there? She's, from what she's been telling me, the odds seems against her. Not to mention, I feel like a complete deadweight not being there to help her. She must feel completely alone up there. As long as she finds the hints that I strew the- Oh, so that writing's in the wall, that's all him! Okay, besides, she's not even really truly alone. You may believe me, but- when I was up there, I had a voice guiding me around the house. He sounded like an older stallion. He had a habit of narrating things <laughs> like a storybook and he knew 
how to make me laugh and get my thoughts straight. Oh yeah, Tavi told me that she was hearing a voice in her head. I thought she was just joking around, going insane or something. She really did find some pony else to help us. That's very comforting to know. She's a good company. Then, when I fell in here, he told me that he had to find some pony else as brave and smart as I am to help us all. But that's besides the point. She's still in grave danger while she's up there. Not only does she have to worry about the local deadly flora and fauna making her new home crumble at the house. She still has that zombie kid to deal with. Even then, she needs to go through the labyrinth and to get where we are. Labyrinth? You mean one of those minotaur maze? Yes, but instead of a beefy minotaur, it's crowded with zombies and dead everywhere. Oh no, please tell me it's not gonna be a maze. When we play as Octavia in the full game, it's a maze. And if we turn left, there's a zombie and we get killed and we get sent to the same save spot all over again. Oh no, that's gonna be so tedious. In order to help Octavia make it out here alive, parents, huh? I snuck out using a duct tape I found in this house. You need to distract the necromancer long enough to apply it to the door. Afterwards, it's up to you to find the plants and bring them here and review it. And I'll do it myself. Then I need to conserve with what little energy I have. Are you up for this? That sounds like a mind blowing. That sounds mind blowing. I'm, I'm in. I'll make sure she pays for all the horse apple that she put me and poor Octavia in. Good. Let me know when you are ready to get started. I'm ready to head out. I'm ready to make the great Ah, uh, what? Oh, okay. Sorry, I accidentally clicked out the game tab. This is what you're going to do. You're going to call the necromancer over for a little chat. And when she, she opens the door, I will sneak to it and latch the door. And by covering it with duct tape, I have stashed away. Here's the cavette. However, she when she's calm, she's very hard to trick. If I apply the tape while she's in that state, she'll feel me pushing it pushing it through the door and jig it and jig us up then we'll need you will need to agitate her enough for her to lose her cool but she suspects us she won't keep answering the door if you have nothing to say to her i suspect you a couple of tries before she flat out ignore your calls are you ready sure just let me get some advice from octavia if she, see if she knows what's on her skin all right i'll meet you up the door yo tavy can i can i get a witness Ban Geek says what? What? <laughs> oh geez, that never gets old. <laughs> you actually need, or are you usually annoying? I'm going to attempt to bug an ever-loving hay out of a pony who's keeping us hostage here. Got any dirt on her? You mean information? I might, but why would you need such a thing? I'm a distraction. I'll say you are. I'm glad some pony's making use of your talents. Here's what I know about her. Also be careful, don't think unnecessary risk. Ready? I think I see her. Hey, some ponies say to say you want to hear. Jeez! This ought to be humor. This ought to be. Your schemes be flawed. I know all about your plans. You ain't so tough. You and me. Let's throw down. Okay, that's not gonna say that. Your schemes big flaws. Have pretty big flaws in them. I know all about you and your plans. Okay, that sounds too stupid. Interesting. Considering that you don't fully understand, I have power of the hooves. What and who is the flaw? The zombies? My subjects? What about them? Their bodies are rotting weak. Zombies are so cliche, be original, they're stupid. True, the decisive blow to their head or fire, and a cast occasional spell can trick to dispatch one of them. But what can Pony do surrounding gro growing army when one when one bike can easily convert them. I'm glad we had this little talk. Come back to me anytime we need your hopes. Damn! Good, she tried. Good try. She's tough not to crack. I don't think you'll be able to shake off with what if scenarios. I actually thought that I had something going there. Honestly, I was trying to convince myself what what could save us. I'm just gonna say doom doom. I know it's tough to accept this, but no pony outside is going to save us. We need to depend our lives to get out. Hopefully beat her down. How about you clear your head and again, there's a chance that we can let her guard down. Oh my gosh. Is there somebody here that can help us? We are gonna die, you moron. <laughs> Alright, I'll try one more time. Okay, he's humorous indulge. Obviously, the last one's not gonna work. 
So, hmm, I know all about you and your plans. I'm sure you don't know. We go on. You're going to solve for attention. You're going to destroy Pony and become a new ruler. And revenge. Oh, could be. Because she revived her dead son. Let's try. Correct. However, I do believe that I already told you that oh, I was going to destroy Pony before. However, I never said it was revenge. Tell me more of what you know. Oh, yes, I got this. Uh, it's because of your dead son and Sour Note. I don't know who Sour Note is. Because of your dead daughter's sweet sour note. I know it's a son. Okay. Oh, yes! I did it! How did you know the name? I've never mentioned it to any phone in this room. What else do you know? Oh, oh, nice! Okay. Uh, to resurrect your son, but he turned to a zombie instead. You weren't able to save him and took a random call up the street to claim your son. You couldn't find his body. Oh. If you know that much, then... You know what I used to resurrect him, right? The Underworld Shallow. You know what I've named it. How did you... Skill, baby! I'm like a secret agent. There's nothing I can't uncover. I don't believe this for a second. Who told you this? It... Uh, it was Puzzle Piece. He told me everything and he discovered about you while he was searching through your house. I see. Makes sense. I suppose. Fortunately, your uncultured rubes wouldn't know how to play a shallow. Regardless, I would need to time for precautions, step to ensure both of you don't even get a chance to try to learn. I knew you were trying to protect your friend, but you didn't have to throw me under the bus like that. I didn't know what all those things you told her. Still, I can't believe that worked. Yeah, baby! We could do it! Up top! Uh, no thanks. We're still not done. We need to find the maze, maze's floor plan. If you're feeling up to it, then go out the door and straight up ahead and you'll find a room in the table. That's where she usually keeps it. Go grab it and come straight back here. Do not touch anything else anything else in the room. But be careful not to get caught. If you do, then all of the work was full enough. Good, I'll be careful. And that does it for this video because I've been recording for too long now. Jesus. And I don't see any save here, so I won't be able to save. Damn it. There's no like save option here. Like literally, there's no save option. Jeez. So I'm gonna end the video here. So right now this is so cool! I solved the first puzzle by myself! Awesome! Oh, that was so cool. I like this part. I hope we don't get brutally murdered in the next video. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, thumb up the like button to death. And as always, this is Christopher Redfield signing out. Cheers, my friends. Quiet grace surrounds you and helps me find my own. I can't tell you how you've helped me And how much I have grown Even though you're far away Inspiration comes from you To shine a light